All right, good afternoon, lads and ladettes. Um, welcome back, and uh, yeah, this will be a short wee one. Um, basically, about a comment somebody had left on another video. Um, I thought it'd be easier to answer it on a video rather than trying to reply a big long reply, but it was basically down to why am I feeding the kettle and the ring feeders rather than me 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 bale feeder. Um, well, yeah, um, I could feed out with my bale feeder, but it's only basically one group of ones that I could do with the bale feeder, which is the kettle that are on the flats here. Um, yes, I could feed out in the flats, no bother with the bale feeder. Um, and uh, yeah, it should be an easy job. Um, save, save a bit of mess around and stuff like that. Uh, this has been in for two days. It's half at. Um, there's been 30 mil of rain on it on uh, Monday evening, um, but the cattle are still eating it. Um, they were here this morning. They're lying under the, the in the gully over there somewhere. Um, yeah, in the shade pretty much. Um, yeah, it's not. It's hot, but it's not roasting hot. Like I'm not sweating. If it's climbing hills, it probably would be. But yeah, I've been sitting in the digger. But yeah. Um, if 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 I had fed that bale out along here and had that had the 30 mil rain, no stalk would eat it. They would just basically lie on it, and uh, yeah, it'd just go to waste, rot on the ground, and all the rest. I don't, I wouldn't mind that because on this here, because this is going into crops. But if it was somewhere else in the in the on the flats that isn't going to be turned over, um, yeah, it, it it's it's a waste of a bale basically. Um, yeah, um, the rest, the other two, the other two batches that I feed out in the ring feeders, as you've seen, it's in the hills. I can't get to them with a the bale feeder, um, hence the ring feeders. And basically, down to laziness, I ain't gonna take off an on a bale feeder just to feed one batch of um, one batch of cattle whenever I've got two other batches to do. By the time I do that, it'll be out on an extra hour, pretty much mucking around and doing that while. Basically, within an hour, I have three batches fed out, um, and you know they're happy. This is the last bale to be getting anyway because, yeah, um, I've been told not to, <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, the grass is growing. There's plenty of roughers in the hills. I want to try and get down before bringing them down onto the flats anyway, um, and yeah, that's basically the height of it. Um, I can only feed out to one batch. I'm not feeding to the ewes. If I was feeding to the ewes, it'd be a different story. Yes, um, I'd be feeding this here um, with a bale feeder, no bother. So then these ewes can need it too, but these ewes don't need it because there's that much grass around on the flats and stuff. I kind of want it at down before I spray it. Um, and yeah, um, basically come, yeah, basically, um, I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, yeah, basically there's no point. Um, it's in the shade. I do need to wash it, yes. I'm waiting for a wet day. Yes, there has been a lot, but I'm generally busy at other things, <laughs> as always. Um, oh yeah, the tractor and the bale fitter needs washed, the bale fitter needs greased, oiled, and put away for for, for, for summer, basically. Um, that will be in the next few weeks. I do want to get onto that before we get really busy. Um, but yeah, basically, bale feeders, just for the kettle, they'll do the job. Um, yeah, it's there. If they don't come to it straight away, they'll generally go to it within half a day, no bother. Um, because they're always, they'll know, they'll, they would have heard the tractor that they'll know where I'm going to feed out, where the bale feeder is, basically. Well, if I was feeding out to the hills, it'll be along the track, and wet time, the cattle will muddy up the track, and it's a pain in the ass to get the bike through, the tractor through, or even stalk. Um, you'll have ewes getting stuck, you'll have small lambs getting stuck, it's just a pain, so at least the bale feeder, you do get a bit of mess round it, but, or the ring feeder, you do get a bit of a mess round it, but it's in one place, the cattle generally go there, and that's it basically, yeah. Hopefully that explains it, um, I might have to do this again if it doesn't, <laughs> but yeah, I should really write things down like that, so I can just read it out, but yeah. Um, basically down to I'm not putting the bale feeder on just for one batch of cattle to take off again to go feed out to the rest of them um, yeah um, that's just the height of it 
um, and when it gets wet when it gets wet and a full bale like that it doesn't actually soak through because it's tight in the middle the the kettle just ate down from the top down to the bottom um, and it's still tight in the middle um, the water will get through it enough yes but not as bad as what it is trailed across the ground um, and it just soaks the whole thing and yeah basically the cattle don't lie in it the sheep don't lie in it and all the rest and then i don't get much wastage on this yes you see a wee bit there that's obviously i don't know why that is because this is the first time they've made the mess around there really um but uh the cattle will actually eat 95 percent of that um without wastage um they can't lie in it when it's in the ring feeder they can't do their business they're number ones and twos when it's in the bale feeder um while if it's on the ground they'll stand on top of it they'll muddy it up they'll piss on it they'll crap on it they'll lie on it and that stuff that they do that on they don't eat sheep don't eat it either um yeah see so you i'm wasting less here in the ring feeder than what i am feeding it out on the paddock that's just the height of it but anyway that'll do for now um yeah it's a glorious day in the valley here um pretty much nearly the weekend it's past lunchtime i'm getting hungry empty sack does not stand on its own uh i was always told um yeah um uh, from emptying a sack too you know <laughs> uh but anyway um, yeah, we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that explains everything. And if not, I'll uh, yeah, I'll just redo it and try and answer um, some more questions. <laughs> Have a good weekend, guys. Catch you later.